They said it would come out of nowhere when you least expect it. Like a bat suddenly appears out of the darkness and latches onto your jugular vein. Listen as I tell the story. This is how it happens. How it happens. How me and Tab met. Um, for, I guess the first time I ever met Tab, she was <laughs> she was uh, working at Subway way back way back when. She was uh, I wasn't. She's about five years younger than I am. And I was probably twenty years old, so that would put her about 15, 16 years old. So I knew her from then. send you her? Oh yeah, no doubt. I, I kinda kinda asked for Tab without knowing that I was asking for Tab. Me and uh, John Lexon and Bailey, you, a unique person has to fit us. And Tab she come in and and I mean just, just molded right together and um, John Lexon he actually asked me, he was like, Dad uh, when y'all two get married so I knew I knew then that it was you know, I knew I wanted to already. But um, it's, it's not just married me here, it's married, you know, my, my kids also. Even though you don't like spooky, like I do, you're the best. Love Tabby T, soon to be C. Nothing higher, nothing wider, nothing more pleasant, nothing fuller, nor better in heaven or earth. Because love is born of God and cannot rest but in God. It is above all created things. Love is the reason that we are here. Tabitha and Josh have chosen each other, and we're gathered here to witness their vows of love and to offer our blessings and support for their marriage. Josh 
Josh, do you give this ring as a sign of your vow with all that you are and all that you have, taking Tabitha as your wife? I do. Tabitha, Josh, I charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that love and loyalty alone are the foundation of a happy home. No other human ties are more sacred than those that you now assume. If these vows are kept unbroken, your life will be full of joy and the home that you are now establishing will abide in peace. Tabitha, do you give this ring as a sign of your vow with all that you are and all that you have, taking Josh to be your husband? I do. Because Tabitha and Josh have expressed their love and commitment before God in this company and have pledged their vows to each other, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. Josh, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my sincerest honor to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Josh and Tabitha Caldwell. Snores louder. <laughs> Who wakes up first? <laughs> Who stays up later? Huh? <laughs> Who takes longer in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> Who tells the best jokes? <laughs> <laughs> Who is more likely to max out the credit card? <laughs> Who is more dramatic? <laughs> Who is better at keeping secrets? <laughs> is that a no comment? Maybe? No. Who is more likely to arrive late? <laughs> All right, and last but not least, who is the love of your life? Wow. She likes a little ranch.
Chris, and <laughs> yeah. Let's try right first and see how that works. On three. One, two, three. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, you might want to, yeah. I mean, I can get there. There you go. And try to turn to the right if you can. Tuck your knees on three. One, two, three. There you go. Great. That was great. <laughs> Been waiting on this one half my life. I'd buy the twin oaks, it feels like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. I can't see her that way. Why, why, right there? <laughs> That's over. Josh's like, it's a wrap. <laughs>